Well, today is uh, the 1st of January 2022, so Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year. And we've come down to Ilietas. We had a suggestion that we should uh, video Ilietas from this side. So when we normally come down to Ilietas, we go to the far side where there's a military base. And we usually go to that military beach and just video around that area. And when we do Cascatala or when we do San Agustin, uh, we tend to stop at this point and not go any further. So today we're going to take those few steps and we're going to go into a Yetus from this side and uh, show you a little bit around the area. A bit breezy and a bit cooler today and there's a few clouds but uh, notice there's some steps here to go up to the Plaza La Gargola, the gargoyle. And uh, it's actually just outside a, a block called Rocca, Rocca Marina and there is this little garden area and this gargoyle more about that in a moment and uh, this is somewhere I've never actually been up to I think I've driven past here a million and one times uh, but missed this particular area uh, I never actually come up here I'm going to use a little, little bird a little duck, as we say in Stoke. <laughs> so we're actually just behind the sign where we've just made that little uh, video to start and there's some nice little garden here um, with some seating as well. And uh, the significance of this and the significance of the gargoyle is that uh, this is where perhaps the most famous swashbuckler in movie history set up his home in the 1950s and that was Errol Flynn and uh, he, he came to Mallorca and fell in love with it and uh, stayed here for some time with what was then I think his, I'm not sure, <laughs> second wife, I don't know so I'm just going to come round to the front of this gargoyle because I think that that might be all that is left of the house that he had here in Ayetas. And just up this little uh, cul-de-sac here, there is a, an access to the playa. More about um, Errol Flynn later on. I'm going to have a look at the access to the playa. So it's a, a cul-de-sac which leads to the apartment block. And it looks as though the beach gate might even be closed today. Can't see how they can close that. We'll have a look. Hola, ¿está abierto o no? Sí. Sí, muy bien. Gracias. So, there was a gate, and there was a lock on the gate, but uh, the gate's open, and uh, we just passed down this little passageway, which gives us access to the beach. Now, again, I think this is one that people don't normally see unless they are staying in this apartment block, and so might not come down to this little beach. We're going to make our way down. Lots of steps. Yeah. And another gate. I can see that this particular gate is in fact open. You might wonder why we've got uh, gates on the beach. And here we've got a lovely little sort of sandy beach and I think maybe I have been to this beach before but I actually swam from around near the next beach around the some Borgadias beach some Borgandias beach which is actually quite a nice little bay water is very clear and very calm today and you can see just up 
to the right here is one of the big hotels which is on the the entrance to the Yetas. I have a photo. And we'll have the little pause for the photo shoot. I've just walked to the far end of the, the beach and it's just wandering along there, sending off her New Year's photo to everyone. And from this point we can see the apartments which are just on the edge of this particular beach. And in the distance, just over there, that's the Maricel Hotel. Uh, sorry, Maricel Hotel is just around the corner. Uh, that's Marivent, that's the Marivent Palace. And we're just entering in Yetas. And you can see the different spelling perhaps on the sign across the road. Uh, one is the, the first one you saw, which is the Spanish spelling, and then this is the Catalan Mallorquin spelling. And this uh, little uh, block of shops, offices, banks uh, is relatively new, or at least it's only been here for the last 20 or so years, or maybe a few more than that actually, 30 or so. It wasn't here, I don't think, when we first came, or maybe it was very new then. But this is where I've been told or asked to uh, start the video and uh, bar across the road which has been there for probably as long as that which is 30 years is the Rose Mallow and uh, pleased to see that it is still there not open today or at least not open at the moment it's, uh, it's a bank holiday today it's the 1st of January 2022 so this is our first video of the new year and uh, we're now entering Vietas. And over the years Vietas has become more and more built up and uh, as we go around you're going to see that with a few older buildings still in existence like the one across the road which is derelict and bricked up one wonders what that might be worth but that's opposite the the Gran Melia the Gran Melia de Mar which is again closed up at the moment Elietas is a, a sort of a one road town it's sort of the road that goes in and the road that comes out there is another entrance which is via Bendinat and uh, I can't remember whether that was originally there or not, but this is sort of the way that you come in and the way that you would normally come out. And there is a circular route around uh, Iliatus as well to drive around. This hotel to the left is uh, big and brown. We could actually see it from the little beach down below. It's all chained up and uh, closed up at the moment, but has wonderful views. You can perhaps see some of those views here over the Bay of Palma. So all of the apartment blocks along this left hand side will have amazing views over the sea which is what's attracted it to people who've been coming to the island over the years and the older apartment blocks on the other side have had their view seriously blocked and I guess that's had some effect on their value but it's still quite an exclusive area um, because it's very close to Palma, very close to the airport and it does have some very nice beaches so the first little one we've been to is uh, just a very small beach um, it does have some uh, bigger sandy beaches and uh, we'll come up to those in just a moment and does have a very good bus service in fact an excellent bus service it used to run every 10-15 minutes the number three bus this is the number four bus not sure what the numbers are now so, a bendy bus and uh, it's a bank holiday they are running today
we're just coming up to another hotel on the left hand side which is the Abbas, part of the Bath Salo group and this one is the Albatross and we have had a Masonic Ladies Night here in the past they have their own car park across the road they've got their Christmas lights and there's people inside so this particular hotel is actually open and then across the road there's a little passageway that goes I think perhaps through to the car park which is on the other side of this on the main road so earlier on I was uh, showing you the gargoyle which I'm fairly sure comes from the house that Errol Flynn lived in and here is a memorial to Errol Flynn which uh, is from the Association of Bethinos, the residents here uh, of Cascatala and Ilietas and they are paying uh, homage to Errol Flynn and his then wife which was Patricia Wymore and uh, the fact that they lived here in Ilietas they actually lived in various places one of them was the the Maricel Hotel which is uh, just uh, just before you get to Ilietas and they lived on their boat, the Zaka, um, for quite a while. I think Errol Flynn was a great sailor and used to spend a lot of time on his boat. They had a house built here. And as we go further up into Ilietas, we uh, will come to the Bon Sol Hotel, which is another place where they spent a lot of their time while they were here in, in Mallorca. So the Errol Flynn story started when uh, he got married and I believe he got married to Patricia in Monaco and uh, they set sail from Monaco on his uh, sailing yacht, the Zaka and the, the story says that they were, they were heading to Gibraltar but the, the weather wasn't so good and sh they sheltered in Poyenza on the north of Mallorca and they they enjoyed that and they sailed around and then got to Palma where they they uh, dropped anchor and uh, and that's when they began to fall in love with Mallorca and stayed on the boat and in the hotels that I've mentioned the Hotel Maricel and the uh, Bon Sol and then uh, I actually had a house here which sadly no longer exists um, but I have seen photographs of the house and uh, might try and look some of those out to include in the video if I can find them again. So we're just heading down now by the side of the albatross and there are a few stop, uh, steps down so I need to just saying be careful, be careful. She's saying it silently so you can't hear her but I, I, can, I know that she's saying it to me and uh, these few steps uh, lead us down to a viewing point where we can have a little look over the bay and uh, spot the sights. There's a little park area for the children and some sitting for for us maybe. <laughs> it's nice to see that this hotel is open. It's a very nice hotel inside. Got a lovely terrace here. I think we were on the upper terrace when we had our ladies' night here, and we certainly enjoyed the the views out over the Bay of Palma down another flight of steps and uh, just to the left we've got the sun lounging for the hotel and then this little uh, area here where we can have a look out over the sea and there's a few steps down we might just have a look down a few steps more and again, Anita's just saying, be careful. Be careful, hold on. <laughs> Slow down here. You found it. I've forgotten there were some steps. 
Yes, yeah. This is lovely. Boring, but yes, there are. <laughs> so we have actually found a few steps which will take us down. Actually get down to the, the water. Don't think we're going to go for a dip today. This is actually another part that I have never actually ventured to. Some more steps down, so we could actually go down the steps and uh, dive into the sea. And you could perhaps walk around a little bit of the headland. There's a boat out on the, the sea that looks like a rescue boat. Well, apparently there isn't another exit to, to get up to the main road, so swimming out there. we're going to have to go up those steps. Someone swimming out there? We've made it back to the road. I was a little bit out of breath, so we had a little pause. Uh, Ilietis is a little bit up and down, and there is not a lot of parking, so normally we would park just out of Elietus and walk in. Though uh, when we come to Elietus it's normally to the far side and at that point there is a little car park which in the winter time is, is free. But um, during the summer you pay. And a few years ago we did actually build a car park because there was so, uh, so little parking. I've never actually used this but it's really quite a strange place to find uh, a multi-storey car park. It's the Zodiac Apartments. Zodiac Parking. big sign saying that the Bonanza Playa parking is this way because the next hotel up on the left hand side is the Bonanza Playa another very nice hotel here in the Lietus. it does get very noisy when the cars come, come by not many cars in that car park <coughs> So this is, just to our left is the Bonanza Playa. Which looks as though they're undergoing a little bit of refurbishment. The big skips on the outside. This is the Grand Bonanza Playa Hotel, which is the Bonanza Palace Playa, which is a resort and spa. And across the road, we have the Bonanza Park Hotel, all part of the same group. Now, we're going to head down this road but before I do that I just want to to go up a little bit this is where the road splits in two if you're driving you have to go to the right as the cars are going and then it's a circular route so you end up coming back up this road and I'm crossing now but the reason I want to to go up here just a hundred meters or so I'm probably going to be puffing and panting is to show you the hotel which is coming up on the right hand side 
and it is a hotel I never stayed there but I visited and uh, actually came to pick someone up from the hotel so I did actually go inside and, and have a look it is a very, very nice hotel it's really oldy worldy and, uh, and that's part of the reason for me to walk up here uh, to show you at least the entrance to this oldie worldy hotel on the right hand side it's further than I thought you see the blue lines for parking they're not in use at the, this time of the year so the winter months the parking meters like this one are all sealed up so this is the entrance to the Hotel Bon Sol and uh, my reason for wanting to come here is just to show you this other hotel which is reported to uh, have had Errol Flynn staying There's a the Bonsol, just go up those steps. It looks like it might be open, there's lights on inside. The road carries on round, you can see the cars have to drive that way. But we're going to head back down and go down the road we've just been walking along. This is the hotel where I do my Zoom, Zoom gym classes from, so come see. So we do have another association. Anita with her Zoom gym classes from there. Down from the, the Bonsol to the Bonanza Playa and we're just going to have a little walk around the Yetus. So this is the road that runs the closest to the sea but you never actually get really close to the sea because um, it's all built up with apartments and hotels. So the lucky people who are in the Apartments will have amazing views out over the sea towards Palma, Playa de Palma, and beyond. It's a funny old day today. We've got a lot of cloud up above. It's not cold, uh, but we've got a lot of cloud cover. And I want to say it's misty, yet I've got a really clear view of the the sea line across there is uh, very sharp but the uh, the islands in the distance Cabrera uh, not easily visible but look at that amazing view and that's down into the gardens of the the hotel uh, which even though it's closed up the, the swimming pools in operation and I can see the the pumps on give me a bit clean left here we have a, an apartment block and that's followed by uh, another hotel so we've got a, a mixture of apartments and hotels all along the, the seafront here this one's the Europe Hotels Playa, Playa Marina Another one that's closed for the winter, which is pretty normal, sort of thing we would expect at this time of the year. And being so hilly there, built up on the right hand side as well. My 
my personal feelings are that they've overbuilt Ilietus. It's just too much here now. But it is still very popular and uh, I think the properties here do have a little bit of a premium to them. We are on the edge of Calvia as well, so this is like the easternmost point of Calvia. Some of, the, some of the gateways down here lead to what look like quite extraordinary places down below, so you can appreciate why people do come here. Friends, they booked to come to Mallorca the 18th to the 28th of April. April, that's very good. And uh, I've had one or two messages this week of, from people saying that uh, they've been watching the videos and it's encouraged them to actually book their holidays um, some as soon as next week. Um, it will be quiet, though you've got to expect that. Uh, but if the temperatures are fine and it's not raining, it's a time to, to get out, to go for a walk and probably go into places like Palma where there is uh, much more life than there is in, in the, the resorts where places like this will be closed. But it's not beach weather, it's not the, it's not the, uh, the time of year to come. <laughs> if you think you're going to spend any time on the beach unless you're really hardy as we were leaving the beach the first beach in the Yetas there was a young couple putting out their towel to sit on the beach but uh, I don't think they would be going for a swim today or sunbathing I think we might have to bring a flask next time you want to do that, dear. Or a little uh, camping stove, we'll make our own. All of the bars and the cafes which would normally be buzzing in the summer months are taking a well-earned break, but hopefully they did make some money last summer. And, uh, and they'll be praying for a, a much better 2022 as it starts now. We're just coming up to the Hotel Ilietas. You see the rubbish bins that we're walking past here? These are emptied every day, at least in our area, every single day. So the bus, getting lots of buses going past. But people will find it quite amazing that um, our bins are emptied 365 days a year. Every single day. So we, we have to take our bins out every, every evening. evening. Every evening. Yeah. yeah. Well, Anita does. She doesn't let me take the, the bins down. these places close up for the winter they put bin bags over there uh, glass lighting uh, I suppose it helps to prevent water getting in there and this is the Hotel Rock Ilietas. And uh, a few years ago, this is another four star hotel. Um, 
at one of our graduation parties there from school. So the, the oldest students uh, organise a little bit of a party, it's a dinner usually. And uh, this was the venue, fantastic terrace, where we had cocktails overlooking the sea, and then a wonderful meal. This part's really quite nice to walk along because it's quite flat. You can see it on both sides how precious parking is. There was a pool or beach here. There we go. Pool or beach is one of the beach clubs. So we're going to have an attempt to get down the steps here. That's not a problem, it's gone so this way to the reception and front desk. It's actually quite pretty here, but we have more steps to go down. Looks as though we can go two ways. She's just been for a look that way and she suggested we go this way, so we're just going to have a look down a few more steps here. Let's see what we're looking down to. There's a handrail. It's a bit rickety. And we're looking down and there are people on the sea. Oh dear. Very safe. <laughs> Let's look around here, and uh, yes, it looks as though there's a few people in, in the sea or getting ready to go in the sea. It must be their New Year's resolution. And there's a nice looking boat out on. Well, there's a few more steps here. Looks a little bit gentler. see signposts telling me to go that way to Puro Beach. We can go that way. Obviously nothing actually is open down here. But maybe we can have a little walk around. So here we are, we're down at what is Puro Beach. And there's a group of people doing their exercises over that side, so we'll come over this side and I won't lean too heavily on this uh, rather rickety um. handrail. I guess this is the place to be in the summer with your sun lounge, but today the bar's closed. Let's 
Let's see if we can walk down here. Hopefully this isn't slippy. No, it's not. We do have a gate here, interestingly. Of blue lines. The blue lines are indicating that it's a little bit up and down. So where there's a blue line, it goes up or it goes down. It looks as though we can walk around here quite comfortably when we get to the next beach. I think there might be a bar open over there. Good. Whoops. No blue line and a big, big drop, so we're going to have to make our way back. That was a little bit dangerous, wasn't it? It's very difficult to tell. that the, Everything is the same colour here, and it's not so easy to distinguish which is, the, which is up and which is down. So the blue lines are actually quite useful. A reasonable level now, right by the sea. No sandy beach here, but uh, not in this little part, but rocky beaches where you can, and there are places where they would put steps. I think I can see a couple of anchorages there where they put some steps so you can climb in and out of the water. That's uh, Puro Beach, and the steps that we've just come down, and see how hilly it is. Surveillance cameras keeping an eye on us, and watching us. Nice to see how clean the water is. We've had some stormy weather over the past few months and uh, usually that brings up lots of mucky water but it's uh, it's all very clear now it's all settled and it's calm and just nice to hear the rippling of the waves against the rocks here Luckily there are a few steps, there's yeah, even cool. some beds on the beach. <laughs> Did you hear the careful? Oh. Well, we're a bit tricky. Should we go for a little walk along the beach? Investigate to see if there's a, a bar really open. I'm going to take my time down these steps, they look a little bit uh, precarious. So we're safely down onto the beach. And uh, there's a few people on the beach and a few people in the sea as well. And we're just going to go up to see if that bar really is open or whether it's just um, I'm not quite sure actually. We're going to investigate. We did find somewhere for a coffee as usual. So cheers everyone, we're just going to enjoy our coffee. Happy New Year. Well, we just had a really nice coffee there and uh, not. Really good to find a place open that opened Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. So uh, we may come back here again. And there's a few people on the beach, some some playing in the water, some uh, playing on the sand, and just sitting enjoying the fresh air. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for, for watching. We're going to make our way home and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Happy New Year and bye for now. Happy New Year, bye.